What's going on everybody? Welcome to another project video. I got one big goal for this video. Well, I actually have one goal, two big goals. Goal number one though is I wanna make a video that everyone who clicks play watches all the way through the end. I don't think that's possible, but we are gonna give it a shot. In this video, we're gonna be building a rocket stove. Uh, pretty similar to this rocket stove, which may look familiar to you. But it's not gonna be just like this one. If you wanna see this one being built, we built it a few months back. I'm gonna to link to it up here and I'll link to it down below, but don't click on it right now. Like I mentioned, we're watching this one all the way through. We are gonna build this rocket stove, but in a half scale model version. Not really a model, it's gonna work. It's gonna be half the diameter, half the height. I think it's gonna be a lot smaller than you think. But lucky for us, I had already made some free plans that are available on defiantmetal.com that have all our dimensions. So I was able to download these plans at no charge to me from myself and uh, has all of our numbers on here that we can just cut in half, which leads me to my second goal. This is gonna be a small rocket stove. So at the end of this video, goal number two is to actually cook something on our little baby rocket stove. So let's get after it. Now that all the major parts of our rocket stove are cut, next up we just need to figure out what we're gonna do for the base, what I'm gonna make it out of, and cut a piece for the screen, and then we'll come back here, cut the hole out for the wood chute to attach, and cut the back out for the air inlet, and then we'll be able to start welding it together. This stuff's pretty thin. This is an old pair of tin snips that I've labeled wire. You don't ever want to use a nice pair of tin snips on wire because it leaves little gouges right on the blade and then when you're trying to clip a piece of sheet metal, you, you can feel it and it'll leave little, little marks on your cut, which is, which is no bueno. If you're unfamiliar, this will just be the divider. So when the wood is loaded in through the chute here, it'll hit this floor and not be able to fall all the way to the bottom, which is where our air inlet will be. That way air can go up through the wood out the top. Now I need to make the legs. The ones on the big stove are one inch legs, so the ones on baby stove need to be half inch. So we're gonna cut these up right now. The only washers I have that are close to the correct size are these lock washers, so we're just gonna have to make them work.
Now on the original stove, I made the top where the pots and pans sit out of quarter inch solid stock. I don't have eighth inch solid stock, but I do have this eighth inch piece of sheet metal. So I can cut four strips out of this, kind of make my own solid stock. I don't really want to, but that's what's gotta happen. Now that we have all of our components for the rocket stove, we can finally get welding. Since we are ready to weld, that brings me to this video sponsor, which is Blue Demon. I've been using Blue Demon filler rod and tungsten on all my welding projects, and I'm super happy with their performance. You can find them on Amazon in these convenient one pound tubes. That way, if you just need a little bit of rod, don't want to commit to a 10 pound box, which they also have available, or want to try out a new rod. This is ER312 16th inch, and it's my go-to rod on projects like this. It is a stainless rod, but it welds super nice. You end up with a nice colorful bead. This is their 332nd multi-mix tungsten with the pink tips. I'll leave a link to this down below as well as a few of their other projects. And thank you again to Blue Demon for sponsoring this video. There is one small modification I'm gonna to make to the baby rocket stove versus the big one, and that's since we're gonna be using such small pieces of wood and twigs, I don't really want it to get down between the grate here since these openings are kind of big. So I have some 3 16 stainless TIG rod, and I'm just gonna cut it here. These are a pair of Nipex. It's kind of like mini bolt cutters. They work really well. And I'm just gonna cut a couple pieces and lay across here and close up the grate. And plus this being stainless means they'll never rust out. Should be better. Coming along, we're coming along. 
While I was cutting all this out and now just getting started welding, it kind of hit me that people might want to do this themselves. So I think I'm going to offer a weld kit, something that comes in a box with all the parts and pieces already ready to go. The feet, the little bars, the holes cut in the tube, everything ready to go. So really you could just weld it up if you want to try this out. Obviously you could modify it, modify the pieces that come or just weld it up as is, whatever. It's not available right now though because I just thought of it, but it shouldn't take me too long to get it together. Uh, the best way probably to keep up with when it comes out, if you're interested, is to follow me on Instagram. I'm at JustVoss. If you're watching this video at a later date, there might be a link down in the description, so check that out. But before we worry about that too much, we got to finish this one.
Well, everyone, we did it. Oh, sorry. There it is. The baby rocket stove. And it looks a little bit smaller, so you might not believe me that it's half, but it actually is. As you can see, this one measures right at 18 and 7 eighths, and the little guy came in right at 9 and 7 sixteenths. So it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, if you're still watching this video, I guess I accomplished goal number one, which was to get you to watch all the way through, so I really appreciate that. Goal number two is to fire this bad boy up and cook something. It's currently pouring out right now, so that's gonna have to wait. I'll throw that on at the end. If you are interested in building one of these little rocket stoves yourself from a kit, like I said, the, probably the best thing to do is to follow me on Instagram, at JustVoss, and that way you'll know right away when the kits are available. They're gonna be all the little components that you need right in a little well put together package. To me, this is kind of like a show decorative um, conversation piece. So I'm not gonna paint mine. After I fire it up and use it, I might spray it down with some shark hide. That way you can still see the metal. That's why I cleaned it up so nice. And that way you can still see the welds. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please consider sticking around and subscribing. Maybe hit the little notification bell. That way you will be notified every time a new video comes out. And Let's go see what this thing can do.